What is going on, Fight Fans? So, since the fight is in just about two weeks, I'm going to go ahead and give my predictions now because to me, this is an easy one. And also, is there any possibility, any possibility at all, for an ESBC showcase involving any of these future matchups that we're about to watch? Without any further ado, this is Edward, and you're watching Boxing Fanatico. Alright, I know that a lot of people are probably going to say that my prediction is all based off of my love for Shakur Stevenson. My, the fact that he's my favorite fighter. Yes, he is my favorite fighter. Absolutely. And I give that bias up front. I let you know that my favorite fighter is Shakur. And he has been my favorite fighter since the Olympics, believe it or not. Since his performance in the Olympics Games in Rio, I, I, couldn't, I could not believe the amount of skill that I was seeing from such a young fighter. So, I also have a bias in, in boxing. I'm going, to, I'm going to be honest. I lean towards the technical fighters. I know most people especially the average viewer of boxing, leans more towards the person that goes in there to, to knock you out and stuff like that. It's great when they have both of those things connected. For example, Gennady Golovkin is a person who has both of those things connected, skill and uh, the ability to knock you out. But to me, the, the, the layers that come with the fighters are more entertaining when there's multiple adjustments being made when somebody is digging deep into their toolbox when someone is outsmarting somebody i think that that to me creates more entertainment i'm not as entertained by just seeing you know two people knock each other around with zero defense and that's one of the reasons why shakur stevenson intrigues me is because i've never seen this before he holds CompuBox world records I mean, he, he keeps his opponents to four jabs landed for the entire fight, which means his defense, his defensive awareness uh, IQ is astronomical. His technical abilities is crazy because his plus minus is also world record breaking, which means he hits you and doesn't get hit better than anyone who has ever done it. So <sighs> Shakur is going to be a future pound for pound fighter. And I have no doubt, no doubt, this man is the fastest to a world title only behind Lomachenko. But he did it without a loss. Lomachenko lost his first fight and somehow was still brought into a path of going to the world title. While Shakur did it without losing and got to the path of getting the world title. And also was the youngest uh, only behind Devin Haney at the time to be a world champion. So you can't take all of that away from Shakur and the eye test is just just destroys your eyeballs because he's that good. He's about to fight Jamel Herring. Jamel Herring is another ESBC fighter. Both Shakur and Jamel are both in ESBC. And this fight is crazy because this is a super jump in competition for, for uh, Shakur Stevenson. Because Shakur is ranked uh, number, I believe he's ranked number five in the super featherweight division he isn't uh he isn't number one or number two jamel herring is the number one united states uh super featherweight and he's ranked number two in the world right behind oscar valdez miguel burchelt is still above um shakur stevenson and even rakamov i believe is number three and he's above shakur stevenson so he is jumping all of these people to face Jamel Herring for the WBO title that he just took away from Carl Frampton. And don't get me wrong, Jamel got some skills. But I don't think anybody in the world has the skills that Shakur Stevenson has. So, my prediction is easy, clear, cut, and dry. Shakur Stevenson is going to win by an incredibly dominant technical performance in which Jamel Herring barely touches Shakur Stevenson 
and Shakur Stevenson just tags him all night and possibly gets a knockout uh, because of a lot of the scrutiny that he was getting from his last fight. He might turn a few gears up a little bit to get the knockout. But uh, yeah, Jamel, uh, Shakur Stevenson is going to win. Um, and he's going to win very, very easy. Even though this is a step up in competition, he's going to win very, very easily. That is my prediction for that fight. Now, let's talk about the possibility of an ESBC showcase. So, we know that Jamel Herring has been scanned. We do not know if Shakur Stevenson has been scanned. But it's, if he has been scanned, it will be amazing to see something, some type of showcase from ESBC. Now, they didn't do a showcase for um, Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder, but they did show their in-game rendered models looking at each other in a little nice kind of poster uh, on Twitter, which was a nice gesture, but it wasn't gameplay. So if that didn't show us gameplays, it is going to be really difficult for me to make the leap that a Shakur Stevenson versus Jamel Herring will show us any type of gameplay. If anything, the Canelo versus Caleb Plant fight, that might show us some gameplay. If they were going to do gameplay, I think that fight will be the one because it's a huge fight. It's a big star in Canelo Alvarez. And we know that they've been scanned Canelo and they've been scanned Caleb Plant. So with that understanding... I don't see why we can't see something from uh, ESBC in regards to that fight. So if, if I had to guess that we were going to get a showcase or something from ESBC um, in terms of in-game, something in-game, I think that will be with the Canelo fight versus Caleb Plant. But maybe we get like a poster picture or something with the Shakur Stevenson versus Jamel Herring fight. And that's all I got for you guys for today. I just want to throw out my predictions pretty early because I don't, I really don't have to. There's no point in me waiting. Shakur is a shark amongst fishes right now until he gets to like the top tier guys. And I'm talking about moving up and weight and, and being in that, in that, uh, in that arena with the Ryan Garcias, the Javante Tank Davis, the Lomachenkos, the Devin Haney, the Tiafimo Lopez's, the Cambosis. And, and in my opinion, I, I can't see any of those guys beating Shakur Stevenson at all just way too technically sound. His technical skills is something that we have not seen ever, possibly, ever. And, and and for those of you who are the, well, I haven't seen him fight anybody and blah, blah, blah. Bro, the eye test is super powerful. It matters. Other people have also fought lower competitions as they're moving up in the ranks and were not able to keep their plus minus as pristine as Shakur has or keeping their opponents to just four jabs landed. And sometimes it takes five to six rounds for the person to even touch Shakur even once. And no one before him has been able to do that since CompuBox started to tally these numbers. And, and you can't throw away the fact that he was the fastest person to ever win a world title ever without a loss. That's a huge deal. That's a huge deal. Behind only Lomachenko, who was basically given the opportunity by top rank to do it. Shakur beat all the top guys without losing and was able to do it in a more organic and natural path. Until he goes up against those beasts, all of my Shakur predictions are going to be super easy. But even when he does fight them, I still have him winning. This is Edward from Boxer Fanatico, and I'll see you in the next one.